Hello YouTube, I'm APC. Today I'm going to show you how to make a platformer. This can be complete with code. If you have no idea what Game Maker is, please refer to my Catch the Clown series where I cover all the basics of Game Maker. And it should be flawless. Because a lot of times people make platformers, there's a lot of glitches that can end up with platformers. I, I personally think platformers are really irritating. <laughs> so anyway, this is the code that should work always. This code is from Nintendo Power 123. That's its YouTube channel. Its other YouTube channel is Top Hunter 7. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. All right. So start off making two sprites. So right click create sprite. Call first an SPR player. Since this is only um, to show you the code, I'm not going to work really hard on the sprite. So just make a player black create another sprite. I'll call this one SPR Solid. This will be the wall sprite that you're reacting with. That's right. This one is made kind of quickly as well. That's it for the wall sprite. Now create object for the sprites. OBJ player. Assign the sprite. And OBJ solid. Assign the sprite, and since it's OBJ solid, make it solid. Open up the player, and create the step event. The step event will put in some code. We'll start off with, with movements. So for a platformer, he he moves left, right, and when he presses up, then they would jump. So we'll start off with left, right. So type in if key board check vk left and place free x minus 4 then x minus equals 4 sorry the place free it's x minus 4 why like that so i just forgot that there okay so this says the keyboard check VK left is saying that your left key is pressed in. The place free X minus four Y is checking whether four um, pixels to the left of the player is open. So that way, if there's a solid there, you won't go try attempt to go through it. And then if that works, he moves his four pixels to the left. So now I'll start over. If Keyboard check VK right and place free X plus four comma Y then X plus equals four. So with this code, it's just basically the opposite. If the right key is pressed in and four pixels to the right is free, then move four pixels to the right. So now here's the the most important part, the jumping. If key board check VK up and exclamation point place three X Y plus one then V speed equals negative five. Okay, so this is doing checking the up button again. And the exclamation mark part, the exclamation point negates this function. So we, we're, here we're checking whether it was free. Here we're checking whether, that, whether it's not free. Because we want it to be not free. If if it was checked from free, then you can only jump while you're in the air. But since we have not free, you can jump while you're on the ground, but not while you're in the air. And the V speed equals negative 1 is setting your V speed to go up. So then to keep everything else in check, we'll set the gravity. The gravity, you want the gravity to be on when you're in the air and off when you're not in the air. So we'll type down if place free x y plus 1. This will be, this will be implying that you're in the air, so you turn the gravity on. Gravity equals 0.5. And if that's not true, so put else, we want gravity to be off. So we type gravity equals zero. And then when you come back down, this 
this code right here should have all the movements taken care of, but when you come that come back down, we want the solid collision to come, go all right. So, type down if v speed is more than zero. If your v speed is more than zero, then you're going down. So that way, this will only work if you're go hitting the solid going down. And exclamation point place free x y plus v speed we can't say x y plus 4 x y plus 5 because it could be anything with the gravity in there then move contact to 70 which is saying keep moving down where 270 is the angle for down until you hit something which makes sure you don't have like a pixel or something like that in between you and the solid. And also, always if you hit the solid, make sure that the V speed equals zero. All right, let's create a quick room. There we go, and let's test it out. So here are the player, the left-right movements are working okay. We press up, we jump up in the air a little bit, do a little hop, and when we come down, there's no problem with the solid. If we you can solve it on the side, no problems there. And the other side. I once had that it would be completely fine hitting a solid on one side, but on the other side it'll just go straight through the wall. So it's always important that this code works. Let's say you want him to go a lot higher, jumping on top of those um boxes that we had er there, for instance. The lower you put the gravity here, the higher he goes. And the higher you put the v-speed here, or I guess the high, the faster you go up, which in this case is a lower value, that will make him um, go up farther as well. So let's try making that stronger and this weaker and see what happens. As he jumps a lot higher, and he comes down a lot slower this time. This time you can easily come on top of the, these boxes. Well, last time you couldn't get high enough. So you, it's important to tweak those values with, with with your game to make sure that it comes out the way you want it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to PM my YouTube channel. We'll see you guys next time. Here are the credits.